So automated change detection. Um, why do we want this? Well, maybe there's weird things happening on your network and you just suspect something might have changed, but you don't know what. Um, or maybe you have your network guys or gals or they just don't follow the change control process. It's not uncommon. Or worst of all, maybe your network devices have been compromised. You've been hacked and you just don't know it. So let's take a look at how we can quickly figure that out for you. So the first thing we're going to do here is go up and uh, set the HP IMC up so it'll actually detect these things properly out of the box. We don't want to generate too many alarms, so you actually do have to turn this on. So we're going to go Configuration Center and down to Options. We're going to click on Options, go in and check this out, go into Backup Policy. So we have a couple options here. We can either compare to the baseline or we can generate against the last backup, either one. So baseline is, is always going to be the first configuration that you bring in or what you've marked as the manual baseline. And uh, I find that generating changes against the last backup is usually a pretty good indicator. So we're going to make sure that we select the button here. All devices except the selected ones will generate alarms. So you have a little bit of flexibility as, as to which devices you want to see or not. And you click OK. We can now see uh, it's successfully been set. OK, we're good to go. So now let's test this out. So we're going to go find a device here. Um, in this case, we'll uh, let's look at a Cisco 20, 2811 router. So this is a default gateway. Probably something you want to know if something changed on. All right. So we'll go look at our device, and we uh, we'll go in, and, and in this case, we're going to change something pretty uh, unobtrusive. We're just going to change the SNMP uh, Sys contact Sys location. And um, this isn't really going to hurt the device, but it's a it's a good way to show you guys how this is going to work. So we'll change this and we'll assume here that um, maybe you've got someone's come in and uh, they've changed this. They've, they've hacked it. They had unauthorized access to your device. And of course, they're going to make fun of you for it and laugh at you. So we'll just put a little ha 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 in here. There we go. Click OK. So now we've actually done a, uh, an SNMP set on these, these locations. So by default, IMC is going to go and pull this on a regular interval and check the config register for changes. But we're going to force it to happen quickly. I'm going to click back up here, and it's going to go through. And what you're going to see is at the bottom of the screen, we suddenly got an alarm that popped up. All right. So we're going to click on this alarm here, and we're going to scroll back up the page. And now we're in the alarm section. And you're going to be able to see here, um, level of the alarm is a warning. Changes aren't necessarily a bad thing. Um, the device, the Cisco 2811, it came from IMC. IMC has detected this change. And so now let's actually go and look into the alarm and we'll see what the alarm actually has to say. So now we're actually in the alarm details page and we got some pretty good information here. You can see uh, it's a running configuration change. That's been what's detected. It's part of the device configuration change alarm category. You've got the recovery status and the acknowledgement. So if we want to um, get rid of the alarm status or, or acknowledge the fact that this is, this is actually happening and somebody's working on it, some additional stuff. But what's really nice in here is directly within the alarm, we have a link to the configuration information. And I can actually go on this button over here, click on configuration compare. And I'm going to bring up the configuration, the before and the after. You can see how many lines are in the total file. There's change lines were three, no unique lines. So no one's added anything here, but they've definitely changed something. But then there's over 600 lines of code. So let's just click on the show diff button and uh, look at that. We can say what what was changed. You know, these guys are making fun of us. You were hacked. Ha ha ha. Um, so how do we change that back quickly? We're going to close this down. We're actually going to go over to the configuration center now. So resources, configuration center, and drop down here to the, the configuration center. And now we're going to go to our 2811 and, and actually uh, click on the arrow here and go into the configuration management for this specific device. So in this case, we only had a couple of different configs. So we know that the original baseline, the running config, this is the one we want to put back on the device. So we're going to go over to the green arrow here, click on the restore button, and this is going to take us into the standard IMC scheduling job engine. So we're going to go through. We want to we want to see what we're actually going to do here. 
uh, um, you know, some various things that we can have on the, the scheduling job. Read this, make sure you understand it. We're going to click on the next button now. So now we've got uh, some additional things we can, you know, is this a scheduled task? In this case, we actually want to do this immediately. So we're going to click on the scheduled button here, change to immediate. You'll see some of the options have changed. Um, you also have, if you've got multiple devices, concurrent or sequential, which is a good thing. Make sure you're aware of how changes are going to be running through your environment. In this case, the task description, I actually want to know what device it was on. So I'm going to just put in 2811 here. Click next. There we go. Click finish. We're actually going to run the job, and uh, IMC is going to take care of this for us now. So it's always nice if you have some additional information, so we can maybe go up and click on the refresh button, or uh, you know maybe what we're going to do is is actually look into the task and go in and see more details around the task. So we can see here that the uh, deployment has started. We haven't quite finished this yet, right? So we're going to click on the refresh button again. There we go task is finished everything's good to go so we'll go look at the details now and you can actually see exactly what's been done so for your operations folks you'll see this the tasks as they have been done you, know, you got some backups everything's good click close now let's go look at the, actually the changes and again this will bring up this diff window and we can see the before and the after and what we changed back so it's a, a nice way to make sure you actually understand what's happening in your environment and what IMC has actually done on the devices so just to make sure we uh, we repaired this, let's go back and go into the device view. We'll go find our 2811, and then uh, look at that. The sys contact and sys location has been changed back successfully. See you guys next time on the next HP Intelligent Management tutorial.